Speeding right on top of the Canada-US border, these American agents are not trying to be sneaky. They're impossible to miss jet boats sending a roaring message to border jumpers. As we ride along, the agents know exactly what they're looking for. The, the ground has been disturbed, mm -hmm. so it has more moisture that's sticking up at the top. You got the little bit of a, I don't know, like kind of a, almost like sawgrass. Yeah. There's tracks coming from there. Out here, miles from any road, across a river shallow enough to walk across, footprints sound the alarm. There's like a line of disturbance, and that's what we're looking for. So when we're driving up and down, we're looking at disturbances like that. That's more than likely a moose. Tracks that but weren't here yesterday. Is. We're down here every day because we need to know what normal is. Humans have crossed right here before. These agents remember one of the first, just a few years ago. He swam and then probably walked five kilometers through the woods to get up to the highway, which at that point, uh, a concerned citizen did make a phone call to us and uh, an agent intercepted him. That border jumper, the grandson of one of the founders of Hezbollah, as it turned out, had his asylum claim in Canada rejected. So he snuck into the U.S. And over the past year, a lot more have been doing the same. We're in the United States, and if I was to step over the ditch, I'd be in Canada. Along the land border through Amish country, where New Brunswick turns to Maine, American agents like Dennis Harmon are seeing a big rise in border jumpers heading from Canada to the U.S. Our apprehensions this fiscal year have gone up, uh, you know, almost 60 percent. So what's going on? It's a high risk area for us as far as uh, border goes. There is the ease, of course, of going from the United States here into Canada. And of course, over the past couple of years, we have seen people traveling from south to north. But some of those same people American authorities are noticing are being ruled inadmissible to Canada. And so they are making that journey back south, back into the United States, and the Border Patrol is here to stop them. We want to stop the illegal entry before it happens. The numbers, of course, are minuscule compared to the border with Mexico, but there are worrying trends that border jumpers are bypassing the Mexican border and flying north instead. And that's opened a door. Them to fly into Canada without a visa and then cross into the United States, then just pay uh, a smuggling route up through the southern border out of Mexico. It's cheaper to get that airline ticket and then come across. Their next worry is the potential for human smuggling to grow along this border. U.S. agents have stopped Canadian fishing boats throughout the summer, checking to see that migrants weren't aboard. No arrests were ever made, though the Americans say it's worth it to send a message to smugglers. They basically don't care who they're bringing in or uh, mm. smuggling, and it goes both ways. You know, their bottom line is they they see the human as cargo. So it's the way you and I would transport our groceries from from the uh, supermarket back to our home. That's the way they treat these people. I mean, they just they're commodities. Though Canada has long been the easier of the Americans' two borders, new threats are emerging as they focus not just on who is jumping the border into Canada, but who's coming back. David Common, CBC News on the main New Brunswick borderline.